or in the press conference on the eve of the championship, O'Sullivan said that perhaps the first round could be could be a few that get knocked out, a few of the seeds. He did say that. I don't know if he thought that he was going to be one of them. That was a nice red. Well, well on the past is there he's just got to move forward now and try and win this frame six didn't like that shot I heard him under his breath say good shot sarcastically because he in potting this black he's just got to avoid the red below the black spot Must be tight this because he had a long hard look at it. I don't think it goes. They've got to play with a trace of right hand side to make the angle take place. That was a slightly Water. better shot than it first appeared, I think. Well, as I said, in the last 21. event, he made 10 centuries in two matches. So, <laughs> you know, the form has been. Pretty strong overall, albeit he was beaten by Neil Robertson in Clendidna. Oh, beautiful shot. Well, he's always been a great exponent of that shot, getting the bunch open with such skill. Cubel stays in the middle of the table, which is part of the plan. 30. So, chance to win a frame in one visit and just banish the blues of the third frame. Just slightly overrun here. Well, exactly. He's, he played in behind the blue. It's fairly regulation positional shot, overhit it. And while he could still play the blue, he just takes away his control of the shot because he'd be heading into the bunch when he wouldn't want to. That shot nicely. Thirty-nine. Forty. Well, the way that the uh, reds are, are placed, I'm not sure exactly which reds of those half a dozen a potable. Now, obviously, the end one goes to the middle pocket, but in amongst them, I'm not sure what goes to corner pockets. Maybe he'll take one, 46. which will lead the other one to be potable. I mean, he could play on the bottom red here, but does he really want to at this stage? Well, whether he wants to or not, he's going to have to. And these, of course, can be missed. 53. 54. Oh, that's good. That's very positively struck. And a delicate little cannon here, perhaps, on the left-hand red, as we saw from the other view. Well, he's gone into them. Beautiful. Didn't bother with the little cannon. That's a much better way of playing it. Terrific shot. Yeah, and the O'Sullivan supporters finding their voice now. This frame at his absolute mercy. Pretty good responses, I think, to losing that frame. I know it's early in a relatively long match, but uh, this is probably ex 
you know, exactly what he would have needed at this stage, a quick frame, which he's not quite won yet, but one more red will win him it. Been very entertaining four frames, this. 60 seconds. Gilbert's been good. And Sullivan is now... 68. Finding himself with a frame on the board, which is what he really needed, I think. Frame three was the difference between the two players. We already had four centuries today. Two from Selby, two from Xiao Sing Tong. 75. Ronnie O'Sullivan's made 184 at this venue. 76. But, yeah, it's, it's the timing of this one, isn't it? As you say, after that last frame, you never would have known that had happened, the way he's responded. Eighty-three. Point is, he's won six world titles here, and he's played in all those years you mentioned. Since 1993, you're going to get reversals, you're going to get bad passages of play. That's just the way it is. And uh, the fact that he's got such a great record here means he's been able to overcome them all. Ultimately, it's just one frame, but it's the way he's taken it. 96. 97. Well, this blue, it will be the 28th year in a row he's made a century at the Crucible, a run that started in 1995. And a timely one in this match. This is what the O'Sullivan supporters wanted to see. It's arrived a little late, but not too late. He's on the scoreboard going to the interval. 107. People asking, is this the year he equals Hendry's record? Well, can't think about that yet because there's so much snooker to be played before the finals weekend. And he's got a tough opponent in Dave Gilbert, who started well. 160. But this has been a great response. It's been a great break, full stop. It's taken not even eight minutes. 122. Cubel has a temerity to kiss the black. So off he goes to the interval. 122 from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Dave Gilbert. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan, and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.